KFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, folks. This is Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of sunny Del Rey Beach, Florida. This is your 2 p.m. update. We've got a little bit of a mixed bag out here right now. you got the Dow up 84, the S&P's up 26, the NASDAQ 100 up 68, the Russell's slipped to negative. It's off five. The trannies have gone negative. They're down 10 points, so basically flat out there. The semis are up 65. Gold's up 650. Silver down 43 pennies. Let's go spend a little time and take a look at our market index charts out there. Give me a moment just to switch over to them. As soon as they populate, we'll see the uh, Dow in the upper left-hand corner. What we'll notice about the Dow is yesterday was bar number eight of a TD9 count. Today will form bar number nine. It will have a valid bottom, and that valid bottom taking place at its second breakout level. And that's at the 30 44.443 level. What should occur here is we should see price bounce up to the oscillator and change line. That's currently printed about 35.503. We take a look at the S&P 500. You'll see a nice roads momentum indicator top. Price has been able to hold so far the breakout level of support 45.51. So it still retains its bullish character as does the NDX. Even though it's got a valid top, it has not been able to bust out support. Now, in the case of the NQs, we've seen how the bottom of its bullish structured profile is held. In the case of the NDX 100, the breakout level of support that price would need to close below to tell us about a change in character would be 15,578. If we look at the Russell 2000, it formed a TD9 count yesterday. Price should bounce up to that oscillator and change line at the 2311 area. The semiconductor index. Um, you know, trading higher, but right up into resistance, truly sitting right on that oscillator and change line. It has not negated the uh, Rhodes momentum indicator top out there. This could be just the C point of an A to B equals CD to the downside. So that's a possibility. And those possibilities remain uh, very possible, especially with that spot volatility index trading above its 50 day exponents moving average, which is at 1893. We're printing right now at 2422. I didn't talk about the transports out here. More likely than not, the signal for the transports that they should pull back to their breakout level, and that's at 15146. Now, the XAU, you see that it does show bar number nine. That was yesterday of a TD9 count. Unfortunately, it's bar number seven. That's the low. So, all that we can say about the XAU is prices pulled back, it's held breakout. Breakout support, that's still the bullish characteristic, and that's at 130.32. And as long, price stay, as long as price stays above that, 130.32, we should see it bounce up to tag its oscillator and change line at the 135.45 level. Folks, stay tuned. David White's up next with the Power Trading Hour. Tom O'Brien to follow, and I'll be back with you tomorrow at 1 p.m. sharp. Have a wonderful Wednesday, folks.